Live from the San Jose Convention Center, extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube, covering Hadoop Summit 2015. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Hortonworks, and by EMC, Pivotal, IBM, Pentaho, Teradata, SyncSort, and by Attunity. Now your hosts, John Furrier and George Gilbert. Okay, welcome back everyone live here in Silicon Valley. Day three of Hadoop Summit 2015, it's theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with George Gilbert, our big data analyst at wikibon.com. Our next guest is Eric Schmidt with Google, not the real Eric Schmidt. Eric Schmidt we had on at Big Data SV just a few months back. Uh, Product manager at Google. Welcome back to the Cube. Good to see you. As well. You get Thanks. that all the time, right? Yes. <laughs> not the, not the real one. one. <laughs> right. <laughs> the fake one. Um, uh, my mom says that I'm I am a real one, but not him. So yeah. You're the yeah. real Eric Schmidt. Yeah. As far as uh, the other Eric Schmidt hasn't been on the Cube yet. We tear him apart. Yeah. Um, no, sir, I, I've known Eric Schmidt for a while. He's a good guy. So seriously, get back down to business here. What's going on? We only have about ten minutes. Quick before George. I know George wants to drill down, but what's going on at the show this year? What's happening this year? What's the key themes? From your perspective, what's the vibe? What's the hallway conversation? What are the sessions like? What is the conversation happening here? I kind of see two things bubbling up. Like on on our side, we're seeing and ours as well as other cloud providers making uh, uh, strides, good strides towards delivering on fully managed services for different types of disciplines for data processing, whether it's um, queuing technology, whether it's uh, high throughput. Uh, 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 databases, whether it's scalable data processing systems, um, and that was, you know, the, the focus of the, the talk that I gave today was, hey, we made really, really good progress on data flow, but at the same time, you know, BigQuery continues to advance, PubSub, Bigtable, etc. And then, you know, the rest of the the non-managed space in, in the Hadoop ecosystem just keeps to explode. Like I walked into the floor, I'm like, wow. <laughs> okay, so what breakthroughs happening? I, mean, I just aren't seeing the, I'm not falling out of my chair on the analytics side, so I want to ask you a question on this. Is the tide coming out, is things a little bit sideways on the analytics side as the wave of cloud comes over the top? Because we had a couple of people on theCUBE say, including myself, that analytics has been, uh, DevOps has been waiting for this killer app. Yep. So cloud seems to be the powering engine, meaning analytics is doing its thing, it's chugging along, but yet now the cloud and the DevOps ethos for app developers seems to be coming on strong as an under, undercurrent in this conversation. Yeah, and, and the two areas are really, the, 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 the two areas of innovation, one, it's driving down time to answer. Because yeah, you know, a analytics you know, continues to move forward, but you're kind of gated by you know, how fast and, and what quality can you process data. Um, so if you know, your time to answer isn't driving down and your, your analytics are getting uh, more and more pressured, you know, especially you know, as business continues to grow. And more, uh, there's more application developers that are doing in the cloud apps don't want to write more software. They really want the DevOps to kind of move along faster so they don't have to write more software. Well, that plus the, the, the amount of talent that companies are hiring, like you know, five years ago, the, the concept of like a data scientist inside of a company was just like, that, that, <laughs> was, a, that was a very like, unique you know, boutique idea. Now you have multiple data scientists and they're, they're, they're just data analysts, yeah. but they have a data science, data processing background, a, yeah. a really, really solid mathematical background. So maturity of the markets happening. Yes, so that's maturing, and then the underlying infrastructure, and I have this Venn diagram, basically data processing and the cloud, and you know, these two worlds have kind of sat like this, and they're starting to, to, to coalesce where, where they need to, and it really is coming down to um, uh, removing as much DevOps out of the equation so you can drive down cost, and bringing as much in innovation so that you can drive down time to answer. That's uh, great, great, so, great description. Yep. So, okay, let's, let's key in on, on um, like the managed services, because one of the themes that we keep coming back to, and you said like you walk out on the floor and see a lot of innovation, but the um, uh, other side of the coin is that there's a fair amount of complexity. You know, Apache's great governance model for you know individual individual projects, but Hadoop, um, Hadoop. Some people say they're you know choking on the on the complexity of administering it. Um, developing all the different you know, tools. What is Google doing to substitute or, or to present an alternative for that? Yeah, the, our, our strategy is twofold. So the, a, a core investment uh, around the Hadoop ecosystem is to ensure that Hadoop 
runs um, as best as it possibly can on top of Google Cloud infrastructure and where we can extend the developer operations model uh, to help reduce cost. And so we have a whole team that's focused on, uh, in essence, managed to do workload. Um, that's a sister team of mine. The other investment that we're making is uh, de developing and delivering on a fully managed data processing platform that has Hadoop-like qualities. So people think like, well, I, you know, I need to do MapReduce. Um, I need to have some type of stream-based engine. I need to have a programming model for it. Uh, these concepts are being codified into a fully managed environment that enables really a developer to solely focus on development. You're no longer focused on the complexity of like, okay, I need to deploy that Hadoop cluster, I need to manage it, I need to um, understand. So the ops are gone. Yeah, the ops are nearly gone. You still have the, the concept of understanding your, your data and its input and the volatility of it, et cetera, so that you can make changes as a developer, but the majority of, of that DevOps is gone. So tell us, for the, for the customers who are struggling at the boundary of the complexity of the you know traditional Hadoop software. What are the component services? How do they fit together? Um, the component services that they would see um, yeah. is, is really one. Okay. Uh, an endpoint where they would submit a job and say, I would like you to execute the computation that is inside of the graph that I developed with the SDK that we provide them, and we handle the rest of it. So we handle the the deployment, the lifetime management of those resources, the layering of their code onto all the workers inside of that cluster, the scheduling of the work, the monitoring of it, self-healing of it, the auto-scaling of it, um, re, uh, redistributing um, uh, uh, hotkeys, you know, in the case where you may have a, a cluster and you have some key that's stuck and the whole job's slowing down, we, um, uh, we manage that for them. Um, you mean like even if even if they do the data modeling wrong, and like if they key if they key their data so that it all it all backs up on. A well, that's one of the the nice uh, benefits of the system is that you don't have to key your data up front in this the, in this fully managed environment. So, so what's so the name of this service? Is, is it, this it's the, the name of the service is Cloud Dataflow. That specific feature is what we call dynamic. Uh, work optimization. But so. this whole thing, cloud data flow, you can go in and say, here are all the transformations I want to do. I want to build this pipeline. You go take care of it. Yep. Eric, Eric I've got to ask you about, we've got a couple minutes left. I want to just get your take on what's going on with Google Cloud, um, cloud platform, with thoughts on things like containers, Kubernetes, some of the coolness going on there. How's it all coming together? What's your outlook? I mean, certainly at the OpenStack Summit, we saw a lot of yep. activity in the open source community around large scale, and you guys are already operating at that level. Yeah, and it, to be clear, like that, that's not my, my sweet spot. There's a whole other team that's focused on containers. It's okay, I, you can speak for them. But I, I, can tell, I, can tell you, I can tell you this, the work that we're doing around our managed service is highly containerized. So we, we, we've also benefited from adopting um, a container, a container mindset, and the concept of, of managing, you know, yeah. virtual clusters, um, and it's something definitely that we're getting strong demand for customers. Well, they're bringing like, say, hey, I have an existing set of pipelines, a sitting set of transforms, and oh, by the way, I have a whole set of containers that I want to integrate into my overall, you know, data processing model. So we're we're fully on board with with that type right. of architectural approach. What's next for you right now? What are you working on? We're going to go generally available as soon as possible. So the last <laughs> yeah. time I was here, I think we were in alpha. Uh, we went to Strata and Brussels. We went beta. And we are working as hard as we can to, to get generally available. All right. Eric Schmidt with Google here inside the Cube sharing what's going on with Google here at Hadoop Summit 2015. We'll be right back after this short break. Thanks.